Uh, my name is Tanner. I'm currently working as a security engineer in San Francisco. My job is kind of like doing my hobby, um, except getting paid for it. So since I've been a kid, um, I've been fascinated with computers. Um, the way I got into security was actually uh, from playing a game. Uh, one day I got curious and I started going through the files and I uh, said, oh, what if I change this 5 to a 3? What if I change that 3 to a 0? And I saw that it was actually having an effect on the game. And uh, it was a multiplayer game and it was giving me an advantage over other players. So at that moment, I was like, this is pretty awesome. Let's keep going. I mean, I've always been into breaking things. Uh, my favorite question is like, what if, you know? What if somebody does this? What if I uh, change this to this? Uh, that's uh, pretty much answer to those questions are always, uh, I think, the most interesting. Yeah, I would say persistence is uh, super important. Uh, it's pretty often where sometimes you'll spend just hours on, uh, on uh, one platform or even just like one part of a site and uh, you can't find anything. And uh, sometimes you spend, you know, uh, four or five hours not getting anywhere and then you finally uh, make a breakthrough. And it's uh, the best feeling in the world when you finally get something to work. So uh, hacking is uh, an interesting idea uh, for a currency, I think. Uh, naturally, I'm a skeptical person, so uh, I'm really excited to see it in action and uh, try to get people on board and uh, see if it, uh, we could actually make it a standard. I definitely think it has chances to becoming the standard. I think the organizers of uh, Hackett did an awesome job. They uh, had everything uh, ready for us. Um, there was no downtime. Every time uh, it was time to uh, do something, they had all the organizers there, and uh, it, was, it was cool. So what surprised me uh, the most about Ukraine was uh, the history it has. I've actually uh, had no idea that Ukraine was this historical, and uh, especially in Kiev, it's just been awesome checking it out. So yeah, I've been hacked before. Um, I ran a website a while back, and uh, one day I checked it, and it was completely defaced. And uh, I, I knew a little bit about security at the time, but not so much. Um, I was like, oh, okay, this is, this is uh, bad. Let me go uh, log into FTP, and I uh, replaced all the files. Uh, after a couple hours later, it was defaced again and uh, started going through a bunch of different things looking for uh, how he was uh, hacking us and uh, I couldn't actually uh, figure it out. So to this day I have no idea what exploit he was doing or uh, how it was being hacked but my uh, site kept on getting defaced.